This is lesson 9.1, Reflections. Your objectives are to draw reflections and to draw reflections in the coordinate plane. When you reflect, you reflect everything on one side of the line of reflection to the other side. So whatever's on one side moves over to the other side, just like a mirror. Use the figure and given line of reflection, then draw the reflected image in this line using a ruler. You start with the pre-image. The pre-image is the old figure. The image is the new figure. Right now we have a pre-image of a triangle. The way to do reflections is to reflect the points and then connect the dots. So let's start with this point. When you reflect each point, move it straight to the line of reflection and then go that same distance to the other side. So this point is that far from the line of reflection. Notice I didn't take it that way or that way, I instead went straight to the line of reflection and I hit it at a right angle. So it's that far away. I will go that same distance onto the other side and end up right about there. This point is about that far away from the line of reflection. I will go that same distance on the other side and end up right about there. This point is that far away from the line of reflection. Move it the same distance to the other side and you end up right about there. Now you've got your three points. Go ahead and connect the dots. And you now have a mirror image of the first triangle. Remember, the first one is the pre-image and the new one is the image. Graph each figure and its image under the given reflection. Quadrilateral ABCD with vertices of the points they give us in the line Y equals X. So I'll begin by plotting the original points. A is at negative 3, 3. B is at 1, 4. C is 4, 0. D is negative 3, negative 3. I connect those dots. This is the quadrilateral that will be reflected in the line Y equals X. Now the line Y equals X Remember, it's got a slope of 1 and a y-intercept of 0. So the y-intercept is there. Up 1 over 1 puts me right here. And it's that line right through there. It's good to remember about the line y equals x that it's just a line going perfectly through the axis up 1 over 1. It's at a 45-degree angle. Just remember that one. I'll do the reflection in green. Let's start with A. A from the line is that far away. We will reflect this that same distance in the other direction. I just went three diagonals. I will go three more diagonals 
to there. And that will be A prime. When you draw the image, the corresponding point for A is A prime. B, draw perpendicular to the line. It's one and a half diagonals. We will go one and a half more over to here. And that's B prime. C is two diagonals from the line. We will go two more. To C prime, D is already on the line. So remember, if it's already on the line, it does not need to reflect. And we don't make a new point because that point didn't move. So it doesn't become D prime. It just stays as D. So we can now connect the dots. And if you tip your head, you can see how the red reflects to the green. The image is the green, the pre-image is the red. Remember, when you reflect a point, A reflects to A prime, B to B prime, and so on. And if we did another transformation, if we reflect it again somewhere, then we would get an A double prime. If we did it again, we'd get an A triple prime and so on. Since we're only reflecting once, we only have single primes. Reflect quadrilateral or rectangle, QRST, in the x-axis. So let's plot the points first. Q is negative 3, 2. R is negative 1, 4. S is 2, 1. T is 0, negative 1. Connect those dots. And now I'm reflecting in the x-axis. So the x-axis is my line of reflection. Anything that's above it goes below, and anything that's below it goes above. R is 4 above the line. R prime is 4 below the line. S is 1 above. S prime is 1 below. Notice these are directly below each of those because you go straight to the line of reflection, hitting it at a right angle, and keep going straight through the other side. T is one below, T prime is one above, Q is two above, and Q prime is two below. If you tip your head, you can see how it's a mirror image on each side there.